Hey guys, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. You know me guys, come on now. When it comes to doing my demonstrations, I think way outside the box. You've got to go insane with it. And I'll tell you why. I love testing my screens. I like putting my screens through the freaking most insane test you have ever seen. Why? It's because I can guarantee you can take my screen, put it in your environment, and it is going to look fantastic. Now, this right here is our large sample sheet of our Silver Diamond Crystal Edge Vision Projection Screen. This is going to be a 16, uh, actually, sorry, it's going to be 116 9 uh, wide screen fixed aluminum frame projection screen that you can take out of the box, fully assemble it. Everything will be neatly packed in the box and yes, the screen will be on the roll. Mind the box is about 96 inches long. Now let me show you exactly what we are doing today. Man, I love this, man. I love doing these demonstrations. This is our Seymour AV. We just got this, our sample sheets. I've got the Supernova coming in and I'm going to be getting the Firehawk G4, which I can't wait. Now, how much light do can we hit the screen with? Well, I was thinking downstairs, I don't have enough light. So I went down to grab my two spotlights in my work area. I got a light here, got a light here, just 200 watt lights. I got the 500 watt bar light. I got ceiling lights here and here. Now, I had someone ask me, what is the point of having this much light hitting the screen? Well, here's the thing. You got to think big. Now, my screens can be used for commercialized use. I can have my screens on a shopping mall. Uh, you can use my screens in your sports bar, wherever you want. And you can have the area fully lit and the screen will never dim or wash out because if it can take this kind of light, it can take everything. A lot of other people don't realize when people ask me this question, so what's the point of all this light because I'm having a dark environment? Well, dark environment, lights on the screen, it's going to look fantastic. Also, too, you must consider the fact that you're looking at a narrow line of customers. Now, for me, my customers use their projectors 24-7. I mean, they replace their TVs with a projector. They use it in the daytime hours. They use it with the lights on. Some have people have windows next to their screen. So all this stuff is very important. It plays a big part in having a screen that has amazing gain. All right, so you have to be able to test your product. You just can't take your product, throw it up on the wall, hit it with the high power projector in a somewhat poorly lit environment and say, hey, look, it looks fantastic. The problem you're going to have with that, someone's going to take it to their place and they might have a ceiling full of condensed lighting and that place could look like, I, I don't know, it could, it could look brighter than day itself. And if they put your screen in there, you have to know your screen's going to pass. All right, so let me show you the projector we're using over here. We have our NEC VT595 projector. Uh, this projector is about 2,000 lumens. As I said before, 600 by 800 res, um, 720p, which means basically you can use any projector you want. I don't understand why people ask me, how come you don't use a high-end projector? Let me tell you something. If I use, I have a Sony has a $50,000 projector, it's ultra short though laser. I think it's around 10,000 lumens. If I hit the side of a barn with that thing, it'll look like a plasma TV. So there's no point in using a high-end projector. A lot of people that I do business with have everyday projectors. A lot of us don't have 10,000, 3,000 um, high power projectors. So this just shows that you can use, you can go to Amazon, you can buy a projector for like 80 bucks and it'll still look fantastic on our screen as if you had a 4K projector. All right, so let me come over here real quick because I want to get in the front of this. Oh wait, I forgot to add real quick. Let's open up the blinds. Now we got a rainy day out here, so I'm kind of bummed out about that because I was hoping for some more window light, but this is what I have for now. Um, in case you guys, you naysayers are thinking like, well, guess what, that's not good enough. Well, I have two videos in the comment section. Check it out. I have one in the daytime hours. A lot of light coming in with the same amount of light. All right, so let's remove this real quick from the front. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Let's show you what the sample sheets are. All right, so we have the Elite Screen Dark Star 9, and we have the Seymour AV 1.3. That's what we have right now. These are two amazing um, sample sheets. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the Dark Star 9 is an incredible screen. The Seymour AV uh, um, 1.3 is an amazing screen. These are superior screens. That's what I mean by testing your product against a superior surface and doing it right because you can see how much light I have literally hitting the screen. And the screen is still going to maintain a beautiful picture. All right, so let's move this again. Oops, that drops fast. And let's start this right now. Oh, and then we have the white wall. This is for those of you that are using a 1.1 white projection screen or your wall, period. This is exactly what you're getting.
I'm going to show you a post. Now that's the difference between our screen and the Seymour AV and the Dark Star by Elite Screens. Mind you, how much light is hitting that screen? Look at that. See, it's one thing to match the screen. I've seen people do this demonstration on the same sample sheet and they'll somewhat match the screen. But like I said, it's in control environment lighting. That's the problem you have there. You don't want to match a screen. You want to be able to outperform the screen. Because it's like if somebody is a Lamborghini and somebody invents a putt-putt car, an everyday car, and they do a race against a Lamborghini and they outperform that car. They don't match it, they outperform it. Then you're going to have people looking at the putt-putt car because they're like, wow, that car looks nothing like the Lamborghini, but it's faster and it's better. And I bet you if the guy figured out a way to make it for cheaper, it's even worth more money. But if you match it, then people just look at it like, okay, he matched it. They're impressed by it, but it really doesn't, it doesn't really stick, if you know what I mean. So this is what I strive for when it comes to my screens. Now you see this is a little bit of a white area right there. Like I said, contrast screens, when you have the Dark Star 9, they work well in other areas, in other areas they don't. All screens have their pros and cons. Hadn't found the cons yet on the Silver Diamond yet, but I'm pretty sure if I keep hitting the screen with more and more light, I'll get it, I'll fade it, which I've been trying to do. Just literally fade the screen. Now the next test we have coming up, we're going to be doing the uh, Seymour film screens, the Firehawk G4. That is an amazing screen. That is actually a very amazing screen. And we're going to be doing um, Supernova, the Infinity M Blade. Those are other. Those are two other amazing projection screens. I would never put down the quality of the company. The screens are superior. That's the reason why I have them against my screen. Okay, all right, really quick, I'm gonna throw in a little food. Um, food, I've done this one before. I'm just gonna throw it in really quick. Okay, I've done this one before. Just really quick, let's go back. I'm gonna look at the YouTube too and show you what YouTube looks like on here how white our screens are. Now there's our screen right there, there's the wall. Literally that's how white, whites actually show up on our screen. Look at this. I'm gonna do a color pattern test next. You can see that right there. All right, let me grab this demonstration really quick. I've done this one quite a few times, but this is just to give you an idea. I like this one right here better. Donald Trump's America is secure. Yep, back to back. Jim is actually back to back freaking um, ads that pop up. Change that makes America safe again. Donald Trump for president. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. Of course you do. All right. Been this quite a few times, just throwing this in the mix.
And as you can see, in no way form, neither one of these sample sheets match our screen. Literally, we make the um, Seymour AV, it looks really bland on our screen. This is how bright the screen is. And some people do like a side-by-side -side comparison. I like to lay the material directly on top of the screen so you can definitely see the difference between the two. And as you see, look at all the lighting that we have in here, two spotlights. This room is well lit. Let's pause this for a minute right here. I'm going to zoom in, you can see exactly how beautiful this looks. And look at the wall right here. This is your white wall if you're using a white wall. Okay, just in case of my time runs out, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Also, too, in the bottom of the video comment section, I'm going to put a sneak peek of the new website. This is the only place you can go and order the Silver Diamond. On that note, you guys all have a good one. I'm going to let this play through.